Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerman back once again. In this YouTube segment, we'll be talking about something that you may have heard about in recent news, and what we'll be talking about is uh, the alleged uh, killing or murdering of a child that was left in a car for apparently seven hours and up to, I believe, like 130 degree temperatures and allegedly uh, right now they don't he's not convicted and they're not going to convict anybody without a trial but police have ruled it a homicide and strong suspicion is linked to uh, Justin Ross Harris of uh, Georgia for killing this child now when I look at this I mean the child is 22 months old I mean, this is a very heinous act if he did commit this crime. Uh, Justin Ross Harris is 33 years old, from Alabama, originally currently resides in Georgia. Had a lot of positive things that were said about him from people that knew him. Had Apparently, uh, he, he struck people as someone that was reputable, credible, and, and was scrupulous and seemed like a good guy to people. Now, whether this was just a facade or maybe he really had been a good guy before this incident took place, you know, that's, that's another issue entirely. Now, about a week ago, he had left a, his 22-month-year-old in a car, and the child was in there for seven hours, and as I stated before, temperatures hitting 130 degrees around there. I don't know if it maybe might have hit a little higher, possibly. And the warrant was filed on Tuesday, and it reduced the first degree child cruelty charge to him to second degree child cruelty. But there's still negligence, is what this states. And uh, the thing is, however, if he is convicted, he could be potentially facing possible uh, death sentence. Now, there is, um, according to DenverPost.com, uh, uh, it's stated between 250 to 300 children are killed by parents uh, each year. What I don't, uh, what I, what I have a hard time fathom or grasping in this is that if a parent, if, a, if one of the main reasons say is a parent were to kill a child was because he or she wanted to abstain from responsibility from him or her, why don't they just put them up for adoption? I don't know what is so hard about confronting a young child in stating, look, I love you, but I can't take care of you anymore, I don't have the financial means, and just put the child up for adoption. Is it that, is that effort that much harder, or is that something strenuous about that? Is that so much harder than, than actually taking the time to pluck some diabolical plan to, to kill a child? I just, I can't really understand this in some cases, or maybe in a number of the cases, I would say that the parent or parents are not in their right mind. Uh, perhaps many need psychological uh, counseling, uh, but really, in this particular case, this uh, there was a, uh, a search on Justin uh, Ross Harris's computer, and it was a search. I don't know the remember the exact words, but it searched basically how long it would take for an animal does it take for an animal to die in a car. Now that's very suspicious considering in a short, relatively short period after this, his son is essentially uh, you know, baked in, a, in stifling heat in, in his car and in, in, been in there for seven hours and really, I mean, according to the warrant at least. Now a coroner's ruling, I believe it's coroner ruling of hypothermia. Now this, I don't know if this may change possibly or not. To me, this shows this was very uh, 
it, it points to him being guilty. I'm with, with it about 90% at least that this man did kill this child. And it looks to me like it could very well be premeditative, malicious. This is like a, like a sinister act, deliberate. And really the crime is just so abhorrent, it's not even funny. And what's it's odd is that uh, this, a lot of times these acts, these heinous acts come from someone that you would least expect to do it that just seems to be so scrupulous on the outside and seems to be credible. And people can be very duplicitous and deceptive, unfortunately. Or something just sometimes makes a person snap and they just, they're obviously not thinking clearly or rationally and they're just saying, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. This is the easy way out to extricate myself from any responsibility with this child. It just really, I think a lot of it is just about maybe sitting down and instead of plotting a way to kill the child, come up and formulate a plan to find out what alternative solution could be for this child rather than having this, per or this child succumb uh, to death due to, to some diabolical means or, or some desperation on a parent. To me, I mean, and also the repercussions obviously for the person that commits the crime. Now most people obviously are going to be caught that anybody that commits any any murder, I mean, I'm sure, that I don't know the exact percentages, of course, but I, it would be safe to say that it, it's very high that the person is going to get caught, especially with all the forensic technology that's upgraded and DNA evidence. There's just so much um, out there now that really can, can put somebody away, more so than even 10, 10 15 years ago. So, a lot of people, I think, that do these things, obviously, they just have, don't have a lot of compassion, and they obviously show no compunction for whatever it is that they're doing, and maybe, in some cases, they don't, they're not really worried about the ramifications, or they're not, or they delude themselves into thinking that there's no way that anybody's going to be able to prove that I did this. Uh, I just, uh, I think what it is, is I just can't grasp how uh, people can just be so cold and callous and not have much feeling um, behind a, a lot of this. I think, I mean, I can never envision doing something like this, no matter how frustrating things were, or no matter if I couldn't take care of a child that I bore, that I had, I can't, I can't fathom doing that, and I think, obviously, not only I, I, I should know I believe that the majority of people out there couldn't do this either. It takes a certain personality, unfortunately, a very repugnant one, to commit these uh, heinous acts, and there are just so many people dying unnecessarily. I mean, why add insult to abject misery? I mean, people out there. Uh, there's always there's always another recourse. There's no need to be taking a, a child's life. The child, I mean, did not ask to be born into the world. It didn't ask to be killed and have his his or her life terminated either. So, what's funny too is, and let's say, you know, almost funny, peculiar, not funny, haha. But this person, Justin uh, Ross Harris. He worked as a police dispatcher from uh, from June 2006 to May 2009. And now, how, how ironic is that? He was somebody that was employed by the by the police, and now he's in trouble uh, with with the law. Sometimes those people that seem like they're they're so emblematic of of justice and fairness and what's right. And what, 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 it's just like there are some, once in a while you'll find somebody like this. That's the complete antithesis of that. And you just can never really tell, you think you know people. And a lot of times you really don't. Unfortunately, 
some of the people that come across as being this nearly flawless person in character is the person that might be hiding that more uh, sinister or diabolical side to them. So always be careful, I guess, who we, who we know, who we associate with. Use the internet to your advantage. And really, and people out there that uh, if it, it just really it's just so important to not to not resort to eradicating a, a life unnecessarily. There's no need for killing if it's in self-defense and you're in a kill or be killed situation. Of course, if you're attacked by a grizzly bear, for example, or you're fighting for your life and somebody somebody has a knife and you're about to get killed and you do have uh, possession of that gun then by all means there's a thing called uh, self-defense you're fighting for your for your life to to prevent yourself from being killed that's one thing but it doesn't need to be done really for any uh, other other reason perhaps with the exception of um, we know uh, we know in a uh, when people like this, assuming if he is guilty, he may get the death sentence. Now that's uh, one thing if it's done in a judicial uh, process. So, but I, like, but at the same time, it's innocent until proven guilty. Although I think the evidence speaks volumes. I do believe he is guilty, but time will tell. Uh, let the court uh, process uh, settle that. Anyway, people. That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. I'm sorry, not astrological segment. I'm thinking of my other channel. This YouTube segment. And until next time, people, stay well.